Now I want to talk about、um, how to install R and R Studio. The first、uh, in the Google search bar, we can just type in、uh, R project. Okay, and hit enter bu、uh, button. Then、uh, we're going to be led to this page, and uh, usually uh, the home page of our project going to be、uh, the first uh, website, uh, a web web address、um, that pops up, and we can simply click that、um, link. Okay, now we're in this、uh, R project dot. Org homepage, and we can move our cursor to the left、uh, link panel here, and、uh, under download, we can click、uh, C R A N.、Uh, okay, and the C R A N here、um, stands for the Comprehensive R Archive Network. And、uh, in this page, we have a list of、uh, mirror、uh, sites for、uh, the download of、um, our、uh, software. And、uh, what I will usually do is to click cloud, the first link here, and then、uh, we're led to this page. And there are three options for us to、uh, choose from. Uh, first is download R for Linux.、Um, second is for Mac, that is Apple. If you use Apple computer, and then download R for Windows, because I use a、uh, Windows operating system. So I'm going to click、uh, the third link. If you use Linux, okay, then you're going to click the first link. And if you use an Apple, then com、uh, Apple computer, then you're going to click the second link. So let me click the first、uh, third link, and、uh, we are led to this page. Our, so let me click base here, and and、uh, then we can start this、uh, download process.、Uh, remember that what you're going to download is an executable file for R, and after you download that、uh, exe or executable file. What you need to do is go to the folder that saves that、uh, executable and just double click it and、uh, follow instructions、uh, for the options that you want to have. You just go with default options.、Um, you can either、uh, type in rstudio.com or you can go to Google and type in rstudio to search. For the R Studio、uh, website, so here I just directly entered R Studio、uh, web address、uh, in the、uh, address bar,、okay. and、um, you know we're here, voila! And、uh, what you want to do、um, is to install、uh, the free version of R Studio.、Okay. And、uh, you move your cursor to the download button, click it, and、uh, now we're in another web page.、Uh, what you want to do is to、uh, scroll down the cursor to the first option、uh, for choices that are available to you. Okay. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with the first option. So. Just click download, and、uh, you are,、uh, you know, directed to another website. And、um, so here,、um, if you click this button here, right, then the installation process is going to begin. Remember that、uh, here gives you a reminder that you need to install R first. And now let's go with the second option: download R Studio for Windows. So、uh, once you click that button, you should start this、uh, download process.、Uh, again, after download, you can go to the folder 
uh, where that file, executable file is saved and just double click it and follow instruction um, and go with default options and it should be uh, there uh, pretty soon. Um, after installation, that is after you install R and R Studio, what you're gonna do is that you can open uh, R Studio uh, here, uh, like I just did. Uh, and uh, so now we're in R Studio here and there are four windows, okay? Four windows, usually. And so this is the upper left window is what I call a syntax window. And that's where you're gonna type in syntax. For example, here, I'm gonna just give you a pretty quick demo. Two plus three, okay? And um, you can highlight uh, the syntax and click run. And down below in this console, and sometimes it's called interactive window. Um, that's where you're gonna see the results. Um, in, in this case, after I uh, highlight and run two plus three. And if you want to interact with R directly uh, in this console window, you can just uh, type any syntax here that you want, and, uh, go line by line. So for example, I wanna take a square root of four. Uh, so I type SQRT and, and parenthesis four. Uh, here, what's nice about uh, RStudio, uh, one of the advantage of using RStudio as opposed to uh, the built-in editor uh, in R, and if you have an opportunity, you can check that out. Uh, the default uh, syntax editor in R is, uh, you know, has pretty uh, bland kind of design and features a pretty, um, uh, not pretty, but kind of limited. Um, and uh, not very user-friendly, uh, especially for beginners. So here, uh, one advantage that RStudio has is that uh, if you type a left parenthesis, it's gonna produce automatically, it's matching the right parenthesis. So I'm gonna show you again, right? So I type left parenthesis, see that? <laughs> RStudio. Uh, automatically matches uh, with a um, right parenthesis. Same thing for quotation mark. So if you type left quotation mark, it's gonna uh, match with, it's gonna be matched with a, you know, a right quotation mark and quotation mark, whatever you wanna call that quotation mark. So let's say square root of four and hit enter you get two. So let's move to the right top window. Uh, that's uh, where you're gonna see top right window and the bottom right uh, window. Uh, usually uh, uh, we can see our help files, uh, graph, um, and uh, um, along with a few other things, okay? So for example, here, um, I would type help. So in the console, I, I type help, uh, let's say um, SEQ. That is, uh, you know, how, how about the function of uh, producing a sequence? So that's to ask uh, help, ask for help about this certain command or function. So I hit enter. You see that uh, in the right bottom okay, window, uh, right away, right away uh, we see a um, help file for this command, C, seek, right? Um, standing for sequence generation, and it's from the base package. So first we have description, we have usage, we have arguments, details, and examples, et cetera, et cetera. Um, well, um, next step is to uh, configure some basic features of RStudio. Um, and the, the most basic features would include, for example, background color, right? Font color, 
font size and kind of uh, main theme. Uh, basically, just just you know, a theme includes everything, right? And font size, kind of style, and uh, etc. Um, uh, we can go to um, I believe tools and global options. Okay, tools and global options. And we can go to uh, appearance. Uh, that's where uh, you're gonna adjust font size and uh, font style. Sometimes if you like a certain theme, like the theme, uh, I would usually go with, and uh, you don't have to follow it, it's called Cobal. And the font size is 18. And editor font is uh, Consulus. That's just my personal preference. And our studio theme is classic. And people say, might ask why you like a, a dark background. Well, it's just my personal preference. And also some um, empirical studies have also found that uh, if you're gonna work um, uh, with computer screen for an extended period of time, dark background like black or dark blue uh, might reduce um, eye strain okay so uh, that's just um, uh, that is the rationale uh, with which um, I would go with this uh, theme uh, and there are a lot of other options uh, I'm not going to go into uh, details and people can uh, explore uh, these features and uh, I'm just gonna stop here because appearance that is font size and font style um, and theme might be um, most important things.